First of all, like I said, the title of the unit is Animals with and Without Backbones. But what is a backbone? A backbone is the line of bones down your back. Now, don't be confused about this. It looks like, oh, backbone is one bone? No. The backbone is many different smaller bones. In, in us, in human beings and most other animals, they're little discs. It's like a little disc and they stack on top of each other and it's a line of bones and they're all connected with tissue. But these little bones, it's kind of a difficult word. Let me spell it for you. Vertebrae. So vertebrae. 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 That's a little more of a difficult word, uh, more of a scientific word maybe, a medical word. Uh, most people just say backbone, but it's not one bone, it's many bones. In fact, in humans, we have 33 of these bones, 33 vertebrae. Wow, that's many bones connected by tissue in our back, from our neck all the way to our, the bottom of our back. So those are vertebrae, that is the backbone. And of course, many other bones, like your ribs, come out from the backbone. The backbone is very important for us and many animals like us. But not all living things have backbones. We'll see that. Okay, continue. Next, we have covering. Now, here's an animal, I guess, animal, insect, that does not have a backbone. Instead, it has a covering. Cover. To cover means to put on top of something. When you get in bed at night, you pull up the cover, right? It covers you. Some animals have a covering. It's a hard covering, right? Duck, duck, duck. Uh, a covering is just a layer of something, a layer of something over something else. Like you, in your bed, you have a covering, a blanket over you. It covers you. It's a layer of uh, blanket or uh, material, cotton, whatever, over you when you sleep to keep you warm. Insects have a hard covering, tuck, 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 right, uh, that protects them. They don't have a backbone. Okay, next. Shell. A shell is a type of covering. Think about a crab, right? Um, now don't get hungry, okay? <laughs> but a shell, the hard outer covering of some animals is a shell, right? You see, crabs are very tough, aren't they? They've got the hard shell on their back. What's another animal with a shell? A snail, right? Snails have shells also. They carry the covering around on their back. Let's take a look at a video of a, an interesting crab changing its shell. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is what we call a hermit crab, right? He backed into that shell, he put it on his back, and now he's got a new home. Sometimes you can see hermit crabs, hermit, H-E-R-E, M I T hermit crab a hermit crab uh, it grows but the shell doesn't grow so when the hermit crab gets too big he can't fit in his shell anymore what does he do he gets out of his shell and finds a new shell and then he has a new home okay so very interesting hermit crabs are very interesting sometimes they're cute too right okay Next word is hop. Hop is a verb, right? And maybe you play some games where you hop. Hop means to jump, but not a long jump, a short jump, like hop, 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 right? If you play hop scotch, right? Hop scotch, that's a game. I'm sure you're familiar with it. In America, I think it has been a long time since I played hopscotch, but usually people will have a diagram like this, right? And they will hop. They'll hop in the first square, then they'll hop in the second square, and they hop and they put both legs here, 
for this one and they hop both legs here. So this one's kind of like that. Yeah, it's, it's called hopscotch and it's a game that kids play and they hop. This little jumps from uh, one position to another. And we can see a video of something hopping. Look at this bird. Uh, it's going to hop, right? It's moving around. Now see how it hops? It doesn't walk, right? It hops, right? It goes from place to place by hopping. Birds don't walk very well. Their bodies aren't built to walk, but they can hop very well. And of course, they can fly very well too. So that is to hop. Okay. Now, birds can also glide and some other, not just birds, but mammals. This is a bat, okay? And uh, animals with wings uh, can glide. Glide means to fly by floating on the air, right? So, in other words, the bat or the bird uh, doesn't have to uh, beat its wings. It doesn't have to beat or flap. Sometimes you could say flap its wings, right? Beat its wings or flap its wings. That's when it, you know, it has to give energy to make the wings go back and forth so it can take off. But when they're in the air and they want to go down, it's very easy. They don't have to use any energy. They just turn their wings and they glide down through the air. Very easy, very calm, no energy needed. Okay, so to glide by, to fly by floating on the air. You can glide too if you get older and you want to hang glide. Hang glide, that's uh, pretty cool. Hang glide, that's where you go out with a sports company, right? And they give you a little, uh, it's like a big kite and you hold on. And you jump off a cliff and you don't fall, <laughs> but you glide down and it's really cool. So maybe one day you can try that. That is to glide. Okay, our next word is to protect. Now we saw before covering and shell. Those are hard surfaces. Well, covering isn't always, doesn't have to be hard, but a shell is a hard surface. Why do crabs have a shell? Because they want to be protected. Uh, they want to protect themselves from other animals. Turtles also have a shell on their back because they want to be protected. The shell protects them. It keeps them safe from damage. You know, other creatures like birds or dogs or uh, wolves or whatever might want to eat the turtle. So the turtle, you know, can stick its head in and its legs and its arms and it's protected because it's a hard shell. Nothing can get inside the shell. So whew, the turtle is safe. Okay. Our next word is flying squirrel. Two words, flying squirrel. So it's interesting. Like I said before, not just birds can fly, right? We saw bats. Bats can fly. Squirrels can fly too. Although squirrels don't really flap their wings or beat their wings, squirrels climb up using their legs, they'll climb up a tree, right? And they'll climb up really high in a tree. And if they look around, they say, oh, I want to go to that tree. They don't have to climb all the way down and climb back up. No, they just jump off the tree and they spread their legs and they have like a, a skin covering and they can glide to the next tree. It's like their own hang glider built in to their body. That's pretty cool, huh? So flying squirrel is an animal with a long tail that lives in trees and can glide. Just basically a squirrel. If you go walking in the woods near your house, I'm sure you can see many squirrels, but these are special squirrels. Most squirrels don't have those wings or the covering, but flying squirrels do. They're kind of, they're very interesting animals. Okay. Our next word is a grass Hopper. That's an interesting, right? It's one word, but think about it. It's like two words put together. Two words put together. The first word is grass. Now, you know grass. Grass is the green uh, plant, the short plant that grows in a lawn, maybe at your school or when you're walking down the street, you see a nice 
area of green, right? Little blades of、uh, plant. Those are, that's grass. You can lay on the grass. It's it's cool. It's comfortable. It smells good, right? And there's dirt underneath the grass, right? So it's a natural area. So we have grass, and then we have remember the word we just learned, hop, to hop, right? But hop is a verb. A person who hops or a thing that hops is a hopper. So if you hop, you are a hopper because you hop, right? If you walk. You are a walker. Same idea, right? So er means you know somebody who does something at a restaurant. Someone who waits. Waiter. Okay, good. Okay, so a grasshopper is a thing that hops in the grass, right? If you look in the grass, you might see grasshoppers. They're little insects that look like this. They're green, so it's hard to see them. Smart grasshopper, right? They have long back legs. Look at these legs! Wow, they're so long, right? Those legs can can uh, 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 extend like this very quickly, and so the insect, the grasshopper, can jump really high. Imagine if your legs were like that. Wow, you could play basketball really well, and you dunk the basketball, right? That'd be amazing. But.、Uh, Maybe it's a good idea that we don't have legs like that because maybe we could hit, hit our head in, in buildings, right, in the classroom. So I don't know. Anyway, an insect with long back legs that can jump very high—that is a grasshopper. Okay, so very interesting words for this lesson. I hope you、uh, hope you learn some good words there. We're going to use those in the reading coming up next. Lesson four. Animals with and without backbones. Backbone. The line of bones down your back. Covering. A layer of something over something else. Shell. The hard outer covering of some animals. Hop. To make small jumps. Glide. To fly by floating on air. Protect. To keep something or someone safe from damage. Flying squirrel. An animal with a long tail that lives in trees and can glide. Grasshopper, an insect with long back legs that can jump very high.